Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sandra. Today I have for you my September empties on time. Today is September 30th. Um, I don't foresee myself finishing anything else today, so I'm just going to go ahead and film. Um, it's like 2.30 right now. I just did this look, so I was like, oh man, I haven't like done a makeup look in a while. So I was like, oh, okay, might as well film too to not waste my makeup. <laughs> So anyways, I'm just going to go ahead and get started. I had a really great month, which I'm always super excited about. Um, I think this is also the highest value that I've ever finished. So that's pretty cool too. Just going to go ahead and get started. I finished up my Marc Jacobs um, Lash Primer. There's still like a little bit, but I I've had it open, I think... Oh man, this is like February, so I think it's time for it to go. <laughs> um, next, last night I finished my It Cosmetics Confidence in a Cleanser. I didn't really like this. It reminds me of the Purity Cleanser, and I don't care for that one. I know that's like a really unpopular opinion. I know a lot of people love the Purity Cleanser, but I just, I don't know. It just wasn't my favorite. It was fine. Um, but I wouldn't I wouldn't purchase it. I would use up another sample, but I wouldn't purchase it Next I accidentally destroyed some of my lashes. So these are done and I've had them for a long time next I finished up um, This Ulta Beauty lip oil. It was in a project. So spoiler alert for that um, I felt like I went through this very quickly um, It's about half the size of a full size I don't know I felt like I went through it really fast I still enjoy these I bought a four pack because it was like a good deal um so I have three more I like those next last night I also finished my Cora's um night cream so I had mentioned in my project pan that this was almost done so it's not really a spoiler um just um confirmation that I was able to finish it so this is done it was fine um for the price of it is $48 I need to see results <laughs> and I feel like I didn't really see any results so I'm done with that one next I also finished a serum from uh, wish trend I like this one I felt like I went through it pretty quickly also um, but I enjoyed it it was nice next I finished another um, tree hut body scrub if you guys know I love these they're so good they're the best I've ever tried um, this is the shea sugar scrub in lychee and plum I really really like these they're wonderful and they're usually on sale <laughs> next I finished this Tarte's pro glow uh, liquid highlighter in sparkler um, I went through this relatively quickly um, because I took advantage of summer and I mixed this with my body lotion so I wanted to be a little glowy <laughs> um next I finished the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Mascara um I got this and the primer at the same time through Marc Jacobs um so this has been open since February also and I felt like it was kind of not a little flaky but also giving me panda eyes so I was like okay this one's done <laughs> um it has the same wand this one like i don't know if i got like a bad wand or something but it was kind of wonky um next i also accidentally destroyed the end of this lash and i'm more upset about these because they're newer and i actually really really like these lashes so i'm kind of upset about that <laughs> um next i finished this way hair care texturizing hairspray um i really really like this i've never really tried a texturizing spray before um but i really liked it especially with my short hair just to give it some life some body um i would definitely consider purchasing that um i think the full size is like 24 so if i can get something a little more budget friendly but just as good i think i'll try and find an alternative before i splurge um on the full size but i really really did like it it was really nice next i'm calling this done slash decluttered this is really really old it's the julep jet nail polish um it's black um i got about a little under halfway through it's just like really goopy and i just i can't do it um i'm gonna call it done um this wasn't a project but i did replace it with something else to kind of you know finish up something else 
and um i like the color obviously it's black whatever it's a black nail polish um i enjoyed it while it was still good but i think i've had that for maybe four or five years now and it's just it's not good anymore <laughs> um so that one's done and then i did um so we got the anastasia when we got the anastasia foundations at work um i wanted to sample them because you know to really give like my customers product knowledge like firsthand um they're fine they're nice like they feel nice and light this is i tried shade 150w and i also have 140 um they're nice but i do feel like i have to pay attention to my t-zone because i do feel like i'll need to powder during the day when i'm wearing this one um my skin looked really nice it does not feel heavy it does give a nice decent amount of coverage i don't like super full coverage like right now i'm wearing the um urban decay all nighter only because i have it in a project um and this is way too much for me i feel a little uncomfortable i feel like you could tell i have a lot of makeup on and i don't really like that look for me personally um but with that one i didn't feel that um but just it's a nice foundation i do recommend it it's just kind of be a little more conscious about like if you do have a little bit of oily skin combo um just make sure that maybe you have powder with you or something because you may have to retouch um that's the only thing next i did finish my big ticket item for this month this is a hundred dollars it's the Erno Laszlo. Um, it's a white marble dual phase vitamin C peel. This is step one and this is step two. This was kind of like a face scrub and then this was a serum. So when you activated it, it kind of turned um, like this war felt warm when I um, was working it into my skin. I love the way it smells. It literally smells like fresh cut oranges and I loved it <laughs> and it was so good my skin felt amazing afterwards I didn't like the way it smelled after I added this it just smelled kind of nasty <laughs> but it was really good if I could splurge I would on a hundred dollar mask but I just don't think it's worth spending a hundred dollars when you can find a more budget friendly mask that's gonna do relatively the same thing it was really nice i got it from the company thankfully um i was fortunate enough they reached out and i was able to review some things for them um but it was very very good i do recommend that mask it's just very very expensive um next i finished my gingham uh bath and body works hand cream oh my god you guys i love the way this smells me and my mom each got one and i told her i finished it and she gave me her she's such an angel um, so I'm working on that one now. I love it. I actually bought a full-size body cream in the Gingham scent because it's so good. <laughs> um, next, I did finish up my It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Eye Cream. Um, it's a sample. It was really, really nice, actually. At first, I thought it was kind of thick. And I didn't... Not that I didn't like the smell, but it was fine. Whatever. It's an eye cream. Um, but it was nice. It was thicker than most of the eye creams that I've been using. A lot of the eye creams I've been using lately are really thin in consistency. But that one's actually pretty nice. Next, I did finish up a bronzer. A mini, but still. It's a bronzer. This is the Bombs um, Take Home the Bronze in Oliver. I love this. I, if... I needed bronzer. I will definitely repurchase that one. It's really, really good. I really enjoyed it. Next, I'm calling this Isadora um, liquid liner done. It's a glossy eyeliner in 40 chrome black. I'm calling it done. It just doesn't do what I want it to do, but I'm pretty sure I finished like half or more. Um, It's fine. I just, I don't think I like the tip on it, but it's fine. It was fine. Um, next, I did finish the jelly cleanser from Drunk Elephant. You know, like I said in my last video, I like Drunk Elephant. I have no problem with it. I feel like that's the like it brand right now for skincare. And it is a really, really good brand. I just felt like this cleanser kind of just sat on top of my skin. Um, so I didn't like that. It's supposed to purify and dissolve. Um, it took out my makeup just fine. I don't know. 
like I would not splurge on this like cleansers I'm not gonna splurge on because I have my favorite it costs seven dollars and I'm good with it <laughs> um but yeah I don't know like I like I said last time I love the Lala retro whipped uh, moisturizer I would buy that in a heartbeat if I had the money for it um and then also the serum in with the pink top those two like I'm down for I would definitely consider buying those if you know I had the extra or if they had it at Ulta I would spend my points on that like in a second <laughs> um but yeah it was fine it was fine it was a cleanser um this one I felt the same about it's the um Tony Moly jelly cleanser I felt the same way it like just sat on top of my skin not my favorite it was fine I think I got this in an ipsy um next i also got the it cosmetics confidence in a gel lotion i actually kind of like this um it was nice and light and i felt like it absorbed pretty quickly this sample is like super tiny it's a baby if i want more i can get a sample from work it's fine um i don't need moisturizer right now so but i would i think i would consider repurchasing that one i think it would be really nice in summer and then next i did finish off this chapstick from Brie Lux. it says a peppermint buzz lip balm i like this i miss it <laughs> i love lip balm i have a ton but i actually really really like that one next i'm super excited i finished off a lip liner i can't i can't take it out um but yeah this was jante blue spice lip liner um you should have seen it in one of my updates i can't remember which which project it's in or it was in but i finished this i'm so excited i think this is my first lip liner i've ever finished um next the other day i did finish off this baby sample of lancome's bifacil this is my favorite makeup remover um i really really like it and it's so dang expensive <laughs> i'm glad i have samples um next i'm so excited i finished off ColourPop's wisp this is like one of the biggest achievements <laughs> achievements for me for this year this took so long but i loved it wisp is so beautiful i would repurchase definitely oops i dropped the lid <laughs> i would definitely repurchase that um i don't need highlighters anytime soon um but i really really like that one the consistency is beautiful the color is gorgeous it's affordable it's eight dollars but it lasts forever definitely recommend <laughs> next this was kind of like an accidental empty it's the kat von d oh it's upside down the locket powder foundation they sent me light 125 through influencer and it's an accidental empty i would have finished it but i accidentally dropped it on the floor but i'm calling this done i was almost done with it i had repressed it and everything and then i actually did finish off my shape tape right now when i did my makeup um you can see all the windows i could probably get maybe like one more application out of this but i have other concealer i don't need like every last drop um i feel like i got my money's worth i actually got this half off um i don't think i would spend the full price on this i think half off is a good like middle for me um because it's a good concealer but like i'm trying the milani right now and i think i like this better and this i don't know how much it was i think it's like under ten dollars maybe even half off this is like 13.50 so i can get this all the time for less than ten dollars and probably on sale and i'm actually really really enjoying it and i also have the elf camel concealer which i think is about six dollars so i just don't see the need to splurge on a concealer that is just fine for i know some people it's like their holy grail um and that's fine it's a good concealer i'm not hating on it i do enjoy it but I do get creasing. Um, almost every single uh, concealer creases on me. And that's okay. It's just something I've had to deal with. Um, but yeah, I just don't... If I can get it half off again, I would get it if I needed concealer. But I don't need concealer right now. And I'm really, really enjoying the Milani one. Um, I think it does smell like paint, but that goes away. <laughs> it's like the Wet n Wild foundation. It smells like paint, but it goes away. <laughs> um, but yes i think that's it for me today thank you guys so much for watching i'm so excited i had so many beauty empties 
um lots of makeup this time around i'm really excited i'm getting kind of like my anxiety is kind of kicking in with like all the projects i still have and all the products i'd like to finish by the end of the year but i have to remind myself this is for fun it's nothing serious i'm not getting paid to finish these products i'm not gonna lose anything if i don't finish these products you know so we just have to remember that project panning is supposed to be for fun for ourselves it doesn't affect anyone else it doesn't nothing this is for fun i'm not gonna stress out i'm gonna do what i can and that's all i can do so i'm just gonna go ahead and leave that on a positive note and thank you guys so much for watching i hope you have a beautiful monday a beautiful rest of your week and a beautiful start to october because that's tomorrow already i can't believe it <laughs> but yeah thank you guys so much for watching i really appreciate it and i will catch you in my next video